guys, welcome back to Red, White, and Bethune. And Average American Family. So in this video, we're gonna try something a little different. We've had a lot of people asking us about things inside the bus from the remodel. Um, we're gonna dive into our top 10 favorite things from Amazon. The majority of the bus came from Amazon as far as fixtures and you know the small items. So we're gonna go over our top 10 and uh, let you guys check it out. All right, let's get started. Number one on the list, and these are in no particular order, but um, number one, I think we've gotten the most use out of this one, the air fryer. Yeah, I don't know. We were we were like two or three years behind on the whole air fryer <laughs> uh, trend, but we've recently gotten one in the last couple months, and we literally use it every single day. Yeah, I, we didn't put an oven in the bus because we wanted the counter space, we wanted the cabinet space. We did not want to put an oven in there, and so the air fryer has been a godsend. I've literally cooked everything in there from uh, boiling eggs, to hard boiled eggs, to um, apple dump cake, to chicken nuggets. Was there any particular brand that we, you know, that we can show everybody? Um, ours is the In Sky brand, I N N S K Y, and it's worked very well. It's not like super fancy, but honestly, it does the job and does beautiful. I think it, it like everything in the video, we're gonna have linked in the description below. Amazon links, everything is available to Amazon. I believe this came in around a hundred bucks. It was eighty nine ninety seven, I think. So it was a very good price. Next up. My, one of my designs, thank you very much. He just kind of stole it. I don't know. The boxwood wall in our bedroom. Yeah, like, like you said, I don't believe, remember exactly which video it was, but we had this wall on the back of the bus that was so oddly shaped and so just strange. We're like, we gotta come up with a material to hide it, which sounds bad. And she come up, she wanted to do boxwood, I believe it was in the bathroom. Yes, and he said no. So I was like, well, let's take a look at that. So, I mean, it, and it turned out, as you guys can see, honestly, probably the best, you know, design piece in the box. Yeah, I feel like we did one box of it. We did one. Yeah. I yeah, mean, it came with it, one box of it, and the link will be below to the exact one that we got. It's super simple to use. Just take, we used it all. Yeah, you, use a, uh, you can use scissors or wire snips, cut it in any shape. Super easy. We did it, the whole wall, in like an hour or less. It was no big deal at all. Yeah, and we used stable gun to put it yeah, on the Yeah, we used stable gun. Yeah, no big deal. It was Super easy. Highly recommend that product. It's it worked fantastic. This next one is uh, one of your favorites. The Vibe mattress that we got off of Amazon. Our king size mattress. Yeah, we have a true king in our, our yeah, motor. Yeah, it's box. an actual king. But yeah, honestly, we were looking at mattresses and they're like $1,000 plus. And I just, because we bought those in the past. We spent eighteen, nineteen hundred dollars $1,900 on the mattress for and honestly, it was garbage within a year, so a couple years. Yeah. So we looked up on this, Had it has over like 3,600 reviews on Amazon. I believe it was like 350, 400 bucks. I think it's $239 For the right king. Now. Oh, for the king, it might and, be But one. yeah, they have, I think they have almost every size available, but the king was under 400 bucks. And I mean, honestly, it is a really nice mattress. Mm -hmm. We've been sleeping on it around for about two months now. Yeah. I, I, I could not be more pleased with the, the purchase of that. It was a good one. Now, this next one, he fought me on. He did not want these hanging up. He hated them, but my gold planters, I feel like they just make the hallway look so good. Yeah, you're on your own now. <laughs> no, Whatever. The, everybody likes them, because every video, any photo we take of the bus, like, oh my gosh, where did you get those? Yeah, everybody's like, where did you get those gold planters? And we just put, I put little succulents in them, and I made him hang them up, and I think from a design aspect, they look, they make it look homey, and they make it look like a real home. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of the cheaper items on our list, but it's gotten a lot of attention. A lot of people have asked, so we figured we'd throw it on there. Uh, this other one, number five on the list, I was tasked with finding a couch to fit inside the space. We needed something under 78 inches wide and under 30 inches deep to fit in the exact measurements that we need. The couch that we have in the living room is, I think it came in at 77 inches wide and 29 inches deep. It's not a sleeper sofa, but it was under $300. And it's worked out really well. I mean, I can't 
I can't complain and it wasn't you know as expensive as what a jackknife couch would be um, yeah anybody that's bought an RV couch for know they're insanely expensive super expensive um, it came in a box it's I think it came in four or five pieces snapped it together threw it in there it's comfortable you know we'll see how it holds up over time you know but for the like she said the space that we had, it, you know, it was it was a tall task. We did a ton of research looking for them. And this one's, you know, it's holding up okay so far, you know. The sleeper sofa would have been nice, but with the space we had, it, it just, just wouldn't have worked you know, with the hallway yeah. like to be able to get through and stuff. It just it wouldn't have uh, it wouldn't have worked out well. Right. Um, but I like it. So, this next one, I'll let you tell them what the uh, next one is. Yeah, it's, you'll see in the intro video, it's called RV Media is the brand name on it. It's essentially a porch light and a Bluetooth stereo system. I love this thing. Like the, the sound for it, I believe they had two of them. One was pretty expensive. I want to say well over $200. And this one I believe was around $100, maybe a little more. But this thing, it's awesome. It's like I say, control it from your phone, play Pandora, whatever you like. It has a real bright LED on it. We've had it on there for about three months now. You know, I can't really say to how well it's going to hold up as far as in the in the elements, but so far I, I love this thing. We use it every single day. Every night we're sitting by our little propane campfire and we're listening to our speaker, and it's been it's been really good. It has great sound quality. I feel like and yeah, I mean we, it serves uh, two purposes. You know, you get you got your light, a really nice bright light, um, and you have your you know a Bluetooth speaker. The only con I would say to it is it has the only way to turn the light off and on is a switch on the actual speaker there's no remote I would say which I would venture to say probably the more expensive one has that so if you're not tall or anything like that you're gonna have a hard time getting to that switch if you're fun size you can't reach it but other than that I, I really love that thing if when that one if that one goes out we'll probably upgrade to the more expensive one but the brand seems to be good quality stuff so we needed privacy in the bus and we didn't want to do doors because you know we're already at such a confined space I decided to do curtains throughout and I knew that I wanted to make the curtains very cohesive through the bus and the best thing that I could find was actually shower curtains and they weren't they weren't super costly and I could use you know a couple of them for the small entryways like our bathroom the shower or our bedroom the shower and they have a nice pretty little pattern on them and they're not all white because yes the bus is mostly all white but I wanted to give it a little bit of dimension and something that looks modern. And the shower curtains held up fairly well. Yeah, it's like she said, you know, it was a space thing. A lot of RVs have pocket doors. The only regret I have is not putting a pocket door in our bedroom. Because <laughs> yeah. we literally have no privacy there. But cost effective and, you know, efficiency and storage, you know, I think it was our best option at the time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. And they look cute. They keep it bright and open and airy. If you guys noticed, there was a theme throughout the bus. Gold, 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 gold. Gold is back, y'all. In design, it is back. And when I told him that I wanted a gold sink and a gold faucet, you almost fell on the floor. You were like, no, no. Well, I, you know, it's one of those things because nothing in this bus, there's no, you know, there's no blueprint for it. You have to go find it. Yeah. And luckily we found a gold sink that would work in that space and it works, you know, it was, I want to say it was around $155. Like I say, everything would be posted in the description below, but I realized it was about 150 bucks or so. Plus a hundred. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. I guess I spent so much. I guess I'm in denial here. Well, listen, it looks really, really nice. It's unique. It's different. I didn't want a stainless steel sink. I didn't want a white sink. I wanted a pretty gold sink and that's what I got and I love it. And the faucet, you would be, the faucet was around $60 and some change. Um, but it's the, the thingy that yeah, comes down the, from the, the thingy. Hose yeah, I mean, out. it's great. I can clean the whole sink with it and it was one of the best buys. So that's number eight and nine for us was the sink and the faucet that I'm super happy with. Well, we had, when they, we had professionals do the countertops. That's one mm -hmm. of the few things we didn't do. And they took the sink to them, to their shop, fabbed it up to the hole and it's perfect and everything's cut perfect. 
so yeah I mean it was the right move as far as that goes but yeah I mean even sinks are just expensive I mean you're not yeah. gonna go buy a no. cheap sink and it worked out you know I, I would challenge you to find another one in a, in a bus anywhere else <laughs> in the world I would be surprised <laughs> that's gold along with a boxwood wall yeah. um, I don't think anybody else has that um, but we needed a backsplash and so we couldn't do tile because with all the vibration you know it's just too hard I found what I feel like is the perfect sticky tile backsplash and I installed it myself. Everything, he didn't even have to help me with it. Peel and stick and it's actually a hexagon tile. I didn't want to necessarily do subway tile because subway tile's everywhere. I mean, we did it in our stick and bricks house so I get it. But I wanted something a little more modern, a little different. This brand that I got, it was really, really good. I mean, it's held up very well like you guys will see in the picture right here that it is over the entire wall i put it over the whole wall um because i wanted it to look you know i wanted that to be the kitchen and really define that space and knock on wood so far that sticky backsplash has been pretty good yeah i mean that was one of the bigger challenges we faced you know throughout the whole bus is wall coverings because it was a very dark everything was pretty much this baby blue all the way across you know, and we basically went to direct plywood, which is the walls, and we were kind of struggling, trying to figure out what we're gonna do to be able to cover these walls, make it look as good as we can, and stand up to the rigors of vibration and, you know, the movement of the road. So, I think this is, you know, another one of those situations, there may be better options out there, but for us, it was affordable, it was something we could do, and it looks, it turned out pretty good. And it worked. Right now I'm in a project of doing it kind of on our stairs just to see as an affordable option if that's gonna work instead of refabbing. Yeah, we had some leftovers, so she's trying it. We had, yeah, the front not. area of the bus has basically been untouched up to this point. It's pretty much all the way it's been since the 80s, so. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll order more from Amazon on that. But yeah, Amazon's been a lifesaver. I mean, it, I, I just could not imagine do, have doing this project without Amazon. Yeah. Price, uh, being able to ship it right to you. Most things we either got same day or the next day. And honestly, it has been a godsend in just being able to put that bus together. Because like we've said before, there's no aisle at Lowe's where you go down and you're like, oh, here's the 1983 Silver Eagle aisle. Yeah. So, you know, we had to get creative and think outside of the box for a lot of stuff. If I had one, I was gonna throw in a bonus item. I've, and it's not from Amazon, but if you do, if you're interested, I can definitely get you a link for it, is our refrigerator. Oh, yes. Just like the sofa, we were very, had a very specific size we needed. And I searched high and low, everywhere I could find. The only place I could find, well, I mean, it, we could have got a smaller one, put it in there, but I knew with a family of five, we needed as much possible space as we can get. And I lucked out and I found one made by LG. It definitely was expensive, it was like, 650 bucks but it's like 11 cubic feet it was worth it It literally filled up every square inch of that space with a quarter of an inch on either side of extra space it worked perfectly lg quality is you know as you know is about as good as you can get definitely lucked out there because we were that was that had me nervous you know as far as being on the road and you know being able to you know efficiently take care of five people can be a challenge the only thing i hate about it is what yeah, she, the only came in one color. You either got it or you didn't get it. And it's like a, I guess it's, it's not like it's a stainless. A, it's, a it's a stainless, stainless look. color. It, yeah, it's more like a platinum stainless I look. I wanted a white, but you know what? It works out. It uh, holds yeah. plenty of stuff. I'm happy with it it's, aside from the color. I was like, hey, babe, can we paint it white? Yeah, and he was was, like, yeah. that thing costs a fortune. I was not about to paint that thing white. No, but we hope that this list helps you guys in deciding uh, what you're going to put if you're remodeling right now. I mean, these are things that just worked out for us and worked out very well. And we wanted to be able to get make it simple for you guys to be able to find them. Yeah, as you, as you say, Amazon is a good research tool. We And we did a lot of it. I mean, we every night we'd be laying in bed just looking, hey, we need to get order this, we need to get this. And we would try to find the best product we could that we could afford. You know, you know, some areas we came up short in that, but a lot of areas I think we did okay, you know. So just, you know, like I say, everything we talk about will be in the description below if you're interested. is send you right to the product. And if there's anything else that you've seen in one of our other videos that you would like the link to, just, you know, shout out and comment and say, hey, can I have the link to, uh, to that? And we'll do our best to be able to get it for you. Yeah, we want to mix it up a little bit in this video, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please subscribe to the channel and follow us along. 
hit the notification button so you can get the new videos. Um, another couple things I wanted to say about is we have a Facebook page where we're very active. We're very active on our Facebook page. It's face, uh, Red, White, and Bethune on Facebook. We're actually doing a live tomorrow evening, depending on when you watch that. But it'd be tomorrow evening, Wednesday evening. We're going to start doing them a little more often, but we're very active on there. If you guys wouldn't mind giving us a like on there and following us along. But again, we appreciate you watching this video, and we will catch you guys in the next one.